Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the sentence structure for your 10 mark question in the exam, which will be on film music and which will be question 6 probably. All of these images have something in common, so if you think you know what they are, you can write that down now. Um, what's important is this lesson doesn't actually have any musical examples in it. It's all about using your musical imagination. This is what a, a 10 mark question looks like. Um, the film is about a tough and intelligent police detective who is determined to catch a criminal. Explain how the music introduces both the action and the excitement of the story. You should use musical vocabulary in your answer. In your answer, refer to the musical elements and the purpose and intention of the music as outlined above. Okay, that looks quite wordy, so instead of looking at this question, we're going to try an easier version of this question. Okay, as I said, this lesson is all about how to structure your sentences. Right, the first thing is that you need to state when something's happening, which element it is, so that means harmony, melody, tempo, pitch, which element. State what the element is doing and use your key words here. Then state the effect or mood it creates and how this links to the story. Normally in the exam, you'd be using your ear to listen to it, but at the moment we're not just using our ear, we're gonna be using our imagination. This is, these are the boxes in summary, okay. So the brain there represents using your imagination as well at the moment. So we need to imagine that we're hearing music getting louder in a war film. So we're thinking about when it's happening, which element, what it's doing, the mood and the story. So I've imagined that the music's getting louder, the music's getting louder in this war film. Okay, so it's throughout the extract, it's the dynamics. There's a crescendo, that's my key word, from PP to FF, from pianissimo to fortissimo, from very quiet to very loud. The effect creates tension. And I've just kind of thought, well, it's a war film, so what's happening? Well, maybe there's an army marching closer. And crucially, this is my sentence, and my sentence follows this exact structure. As the extract goes on, or throughout the extract, the dynamics crescendo from PP to FF to create tension as the army marches closer. Okay, I'm imagining that I'm hearing a kind of shaking string effect in a horror film. So I'm following the same structure. At the beginning of the extract, the violins are performing a tremolo. That's that shaking structure. If you don't know that already, that's a word you can learn. To create suspense as the girl creeps closer. Okay, so I put a little tick here saying one mark. That is worth one mark, that sentence. So is the one that we did before. Okay, so we're thinking uh, there's a major key in a romance film. So throughout the extract, the tonality is major, what effect could that create? Well, a joyful atmosphere uh, as the couple marry each other, okay? And that's my sentence there. You get the idea. Now, first thing I want you to do is just do something that isn't musical. I want you to imagine four scenes. So here are the examples, a battle with elves and dragons, uh, a vampire appearing at the window, a training montage where a hero is fighting to become stronger. You can pick one of these if you're not sure which one to do. Now I want you to create four uh, sentences for your imaginary scenes using this method. So you take these four scenes and you create four sentences, okay? Um, an example might be any of the sentences that I used before, okay? so. As the extract goes on, the dynamics crescendo from PP to FF to create tension as the army marches closer. Now, you don't have to use dynamics. You don't have to use um, the instruments and what they're doing. You don't have to do tonality. You can do texture. You can do any of these things, okay? Right, if you haven't already done that, 
pause the video and finish that off. <clears throat> but when you have, great, you can now get a mark. So we need to work out how to actually get 10 marks because this is a 10 mark question. You're, you're just on one at the moment. Well, instead of going for 10 marks, let's go for three, roughly three marks. Uh, it could end up being four potentially, but you know, roughly around three marks. We're going to deal with the three musical elements, okay? I've picked a war film and I've created this table and the table looks different to the other, uh, to what we've been doing so far. It says at the beginning, in the middle, at the end, and then I've got a little bit at the end which says story, which is where I'm going to uh, describe what's going on. And then the three elements that I've chosen is texture, melody, and dynamics. I've just chosen those. You could choose totally different ones if you want. Um, I want you to copy that table out now. Pause once you've finished. Uh, pause while you do it. Okay, this is the table filled out for texture. Um, you can see that I've used keywords like monophonic and octaves. You can see that the texture changes quite a lot. In the middle, it's chordal and then there's melody. And I've added a bit of detail there about which, which instrument's playing it. And uh, I've put that it's polyphonic at the end. Notice that I'm always putting a phonic word as well as a key word that relates to that. Okay, I'm gonna show you my example for melody. Again, you can see I'm using melody words and dynamics as well. Okay, so the most, the, not the most important, but it's really important to remember that final column, which is about linking it to the story. And this is really where you are using your imagination. You're imagining your scene, whatever your scene is, whether it's zombies, whether it's um, like a courtroom drama, it's completely up to you. Just think about what's happening in the story. So for my first sentence, for texture, I've put, the, the build in texture, complexity, so the texture getting more complex, shows the calm before the battle and uh, becoming a chaotic battle scene, okay? Right, let's have a look just quickly at the example sentence that I've got here. So I've tried to take my texture um, row and I have made it into a sentence. So throughout the extract, the dynamics increase from piano to forte, which builds tension from before the fighting to during the chaotic fighting. Okay, that's one sentence. Now, just don't forget to link your story to the mood, at, to link your answer to the mood in the story. Your uh, answer should look something like this, okay? So you'd have three sentences. You can see actually that they're not completely sentences, like the texture one I've kind of got either two or three sentences there, but your answer, what you're writing down now should look something like this. Don't forget it's a war film. For me, it could be something else for you. Okay, so pause and finish that. Right, now we're gonna move on to a 10 mark question, but this is different. I'm not using your example anymore. This is my example, and my example is about hero. I haven't imagined a particular hero, but you need to use my table and you need to create an essay based on, down on what I have written. The reason I'm doing that is because you're just practicing how to create sentences. You're not, um, I just want you to isolate that particular skill. Okay, let's have a look at the question again. We're thinking about a hero. I'm bringing it back to this, this question. Reminder, don't make up your own story, use my table. Don't make up your own facts, use my table. You're just practicing how to create sentences. Okay. It's actually great because I've kind of done it for you. You just need to create a sentence for each row or a couple of sentences for each row, okay? Remember, sonority, texture, tempo, rhythm, meter, harmony, tonality, pitch, melody, and dynamics are musical elements, okay? So 
You are now going to complete this 10 mark answer using this information. Your answer will probably start like this. At the beginning of the extract, the sonority is brass and the percussion gives a military feel. Well, how do you know that? Well, all you need to do is look in my table and it says at the beginning, the sonority is brass. And if you're like, well, well what? how do you know exactly what to write? You just go back and remember it says when element doing effect or mood and the story. Okay, you know how to create these sentences. You've done it. So you need to do it for every row. Now, finish this 10 mark answer out, try and do it for every single element, and then hand in your 10 mark answer to uh, my question, okay? If you think that you'd like a bit more of a challenge, you can choose to do it for your imagined example if you want in addition to that, but I want everyone to complete a 10 mark answer to my question. Okay, great. Um, good luck with that and email me or write down any questions.